funny how an idea takes hold in fashion and infects even those who insist they're oblivious to what people are doing in the industry around them. Thomas Meyer's interest in pattern and texture is right in line with one of the season's biggest stories. My inspiration was all about the urban ethnic. Be in the big city, open your eyes, get out of your neighborhood, you know, like, take it all in. It's a technology, handicraft, working a lot on material, working a lot on a tri-dimensional surface, doing print instead of using a paint stroke, use the fabric and drape what you want to paint. It looked to me like he's just embracing the sunshine, all about movement and breeze, and he's totally channeling Miami, but not in a kind of cheesy, sugary way. That gorgeous draping and those plissés and the layers of chiffon, there's something actually that's kind of total holistic experience about that. I love the clash of colours. I think it's actually sexy, which is for Thomas, with his sort of chic conservative approach, it's very, very nice. Thomas is very particular about colours, you know, he doesn't go for a red. He would be thinking of red for a long time, so it's very well picked, same time, relaxed and beautiful. It was sexy, it was feminine, and it was the colours, from the oranges and the hues with the reds to the greens, and very uplifting. The transparent Bottega bags and a bit of that sort of shiny patent leather cut in, Modern, nice, easy, relaxed. That to me felt like an absolute celebration of summer and I think with the economy going the way it is and we're all kind of scared to death about what's around the corner, fashion has to be a celebration of the joyful things and that to me felt fantastically joyful.